there's a range of activities that we're going to have here. Uh, we'll do research on battery materials. We're looking at more sustainable ways to produce chemical products. To have the building here with all these facilities is definitely going to allow us to do that. And uh, what will the proximity with the other departments, with the other researchers, mean yes. to, your, to your work? If you really want to be in innovative in chemical engineering and in materials engineering, you need to understand what's happening at a, at a fundamental level. As engineers, we're not really trained to do that, but the chemists, the physicists and biologists are trained to do that. And so it's very important for us to work with them together. And uh, how would the hub play a role in attracting new researchers and students in your field? Okay, well, it already has actually. Mm -hmm. So we have three new faculty members who started in the okay. last six months and we're going to have three more in the next six months. And it would have been very hard to attract these people if we didn't have that uh, facility or the prospect of this facility. Students will have a richer experience working with different research groups together and, and kind of influencing each other and I think it's going to be a very mm -hmm. valuable experience for them. What are some of like the facility's most interesting features or, equ or equipment that help you with your work? It's great to have a big lab where people can collaborate but sometimes you need a small lab if you want to work with hazardous materials mm -hmm. and so we made sure that that combination is there. The open space is really a, a nice feature and it, it enables us to have more collaborations but it's also creates a, a richer research environment.